Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do my What I Got For Christmas Haul 2015. I also did it last year, so if you want to see 2000, actually, no, now two years ago, if you want to see 2014 one, I will link it below. Um, I have actually just filmed this and I didn't get to film it, finish it, because one, I was talking and rambling on so much, and there wasn't enough memory left. Um, so yeah, it was way over 20 minutes and I was nowhere near done. So this time I'm going to try and do it without rambling on, which means I don't get to talk about all my presents in detail. But maybe because a lot of them is beauty stuff, I can review them or I can show them in vlogs or something like that. But yeah, so before I start the video, I'm saying I'm so grateful for everything. I loved every single present I got. So thank you to everyone who brought me all these amazing gifts. I'm not going to say how much I love them after every single one because then it was just going to be a long video like it was before and yeah, there's not much memory left. So I'm going to start first of all with what my friends got me. So first of all, Tanif got me these Minion socks and we kind of just in our like, friend group have an inside joke about Minions and just the call me. So that is why she got me them which I really love and I can't wait to wear them because they look very fluffy. She also got me a Beauty College gift set, it's the Mrs Gingerbread's Bath and Body recipe book. And I think this is kind of like the cheaper version to philosophy, but I'm sure the products are just as good. And I look, I've always wanted a beauty college gift set anyway. And in it you get a gingerbread body wash, a chocolate body cream, a loofah and a vanilla body butter. And I can't wait to use it all. Look how cute the gift set looks. Yeah, so I'm super pleased with that. My friend Emily got me... This Christmas mug filled with loads of sweets. And I love sweets. Who doesn't? So, yeah. One's just fell out. <laughs> I thought that was a super nice idea, actually. And she also got me an M&S Essentials Cocoa and She Butter Shower Gel. I've just got some shower gel on my nose. I'm doing great today, aren't I? But it smells absolutely amazing. And, yeah. Cocoa, She Butter, Vanilla, Coconut are my favourite scents. So she's done super well with that. And actually, if this is really good quality, I'm going to buy more of the m &S stuff because I didn't even really knew they had their own body and bath range. She also got me a mini scrub of your life. And I've actually got a full, I got a full version of this. This is the scrub I use. And I've always wanted to find a mini for like travelling. But I never have. So I was super happy when I got this one because it's a mini. And two, she got me the Azap scrub that I use. And then Eden got me this mini got some milk trays that I've already kind of ate. Apart from, a bit naughty of cabinets really because you think that you're going to get at least 10 or 12 in the box, you get 7 and they just like made the packaging super big which I don't think is very good of them. I am still love all the chocolates in there but I think, yeah, they're quite clever with how they package stuff I suppose aren't they? Sure has got me um, cranberry vanilla shower gel and body lotion and the brand is simple pleasures and yeah i like it's very cute the little pots they come in and she also got me a flutter bath bomb which smells like coconut to me and i think this is some super drug and yeah it's a bit of a change actually to lush bath bomb so i can't wait to use this and it's going to be all pink and glittery and then finally eloise got me my first ever matte lipstick and it was in matte version and it's diva and I've always wanted a MAC lipstick, but I've never bought myself to pay £15.50. But now I'm going to definitely have to start a collection. And this is actually, oh, it matches my nails, the shade. I've been wanting a deep red colour um, for absolute ages, but I've just never bought one. So this is the absolute perfect colour. There's like hundreds of lipsticks, and she literally bought the one I wanted. So next, I'm going to go through with you what my sister got me. She got me so much, and I'm super grateful because I probably didn't, probably only spent about half of what she spent on me but it is her birthday coming up in like a week's time so I kind of get let off by that first of all she got me these chocolates I think they're from Sainsbury's and yeah they are dark Belgian chocolate truffle with champagne and a salted caramel and they look so pretty that I don't even want to eat them because of how pretty they are but they're going to be super tasty she also got me a set of Yankee candles which has got a bundle up in it winter glow crazy by the fire Christmas cookie and baby trifle and I've actually obviously well, not obviously, but if you've seen my Yankee Candle haul, I bought the whole Christmas collection. But I'm super happy about this because I find Yankee Candles aren't very strong scented. Um, so if we've got two of them, then it's just going to definitely bring the scent to the room. I got a crossword puzzle, and I used to love doing puzzles, and I still do. But I've just been so lazy this past year, and yeah, I've not been doing them. So this will definitely get me back into it. I'll probably 
concentrate my mind and relax me and they're super good for car journeys I got a Michael McIntyre Happy and Glorious Live at the O2 Arena DVD and this completes my Michael McIntyre set him, Miranda and Jack White are my favourite comedians so yeah love this and she also, oh no forgot to say, <laughs> nearly forgot to uh, mention a few of the presents so then I got a £5 body shop gift card and a £5 lush gift card and these are my favourite body shops, I mean are they the only body shops around at the night? But see you know I love lush bath bombs and yeah body shop scents are so nice so I'm happy with them because I can get more bath bombs and you know anything from the body shop. And she also got me an EastEnders The First 10 Years book. Now, EastEnders is my favourite TV show, if you haven't already seen that. Well, obviously, if you know me personally, you know it. And if you haven't seen it by some of the vlogs, obviously, I wasn't alive for the first 10 years. I, I do know quite a bit about it still. But it's super good because I'll get to know all the characters more and all of the episodes. And I've never seen an EastEnders book before. So, yeah, very happy with that. I definitely need to start reading that. And then from like my granddad, my grandmas, my aunties, my uncles, I mostly got money, which I'm super grateful for. But I also got a £15 new look gift card. It's my favourite shop, so yeah, that's good. I got Smarties that I've already yet. I got a Vaseline tub, and I actually haven't used Vaseline for absolute years because, you know, I've been using Nivea, Baby Lips, Cordelay. But it's nice to go back to basics because sometimes the basics works the best. And in it, you get the original, the aloe vera and the rosy lips. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to look, but I got some bean booze with jelly beans. Um, here they are. And yeah, there's, what they are is they're eight nice flavours and eight horrible flavours. But like the horrible and nice flavours, they look the same, so you don't know what you're going to get. And I actually have already got some of these. I did it last year with my friends. I was sick. It was going to go up on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I didn't really want to edit that. No, I mean, I'd been ill from it. But this time, I'm going to... Just not eat the one that I was sick from. And this will go up with whatever friends I decide to film it with or my cousins or whatever. This will be in a future video, maybe in March, February time. And I also got, which is a, it's a bit of a weird present, but it's quite a fancy present to be honest. Um, where was it? Here. Some Fentimins Curiosity Cola. So... Yeah, it's quite a fancy present, so I'm going to have to eat these with some of my fancy chocolates. Now I'm going to go and what my mum and dad got me, because obviously mum and dads do tend to get you the most presents. So there's quite a lot, so I'm just going to run through everything. So I'll run through the chocolates first, because I got quite a lot of them, because I'm a chocolate lover. I got some matchmakers. I got some Raff Fellows, which are the uh, white and coconut version of Ferro Rochers. And these are my favourite Ferro Rochers, because I love coconut and white chocolate. I also got some luxury dinner mints from Thornton's. Again, more mint chocolate. I love mint chocolate. I love any chocolate, to be honest. Um, oh, and I also got some coins from my auntie, but yeah, they've all been it. Um, I got some more Fair Rochers, but this time I got the original ones, and it come in such a nice little uh, gift, and you get three layers, so you get 18 in total, or oh, yeah, the first layer. So yeah, that's kind of how it is. So really a cute way to... Uh, store chocolates. I also got some Merry Teasers and I love Merry Teasers as well. Oh, I just forgot to mention, for my grand and grandma's friends, we normally get a present and I also got some Heroes, so more chocolates. And somewhere I got some Lindor's. Here they are and I've kind of got half of them. You actually surprisingly get loads in here and it's the coconut versions because I actually kind of hinted that I really wanted to try them because and they taste absolutely amazing. If you're a coconut fan, I advise you so much to get these. I'm um, seeing if I've missed anything out because I've got all my presents surrounding me. Oh yeah, I did actually. I'm not very good with this. I'm trying to rush. Um, and one of my aunties also got me the Nativity 3 DVD. So now I've watched the whole collection and this was absolutely amazing. I've already watched this. I advise you to watch all of the nativities if you haven't already. What else? What else? I think now I can go into the box. Oh, I'm going to go with kind of the big things to uh, move them out of the way. I got this massive cooking bowl and it says on it good things come to those who bake and it's actually a really pretty colour bowl and I've always wanted a nice big bowl like this and it comes with a wooden spoon so this will be perfect for baking more cakes in. Another cooking related present I got was it says Tala cooks dry measures and it's like really like it's like an American diner style cup and in it it's got loads of different measures so instead of weighing them out, it's where you put certain things up to. So it's got like um, 
American cups, pipe measures, and then it's got all the grams, but it's also got like different size things. So you get flowers, ground almonds, um, desiccated coconut, uh, breadcrumbs, loads of different things. So this is a super good idea. I'm gonna now go in with all the uh, bath and body stuff because obviously that is what I love for beauty stuff. Oh, actually. Yeah, so I got the Ghost Sweet Top perfume. I actually sampled, well, tried out <laughs> and tested a load of perfumes, and this was my favourite one. So, yeah, and it comes in such a pussy bottle, and it smells absolutely amazing. I would go test this out if you haven't ever smelt it. So, yeah, that's my new perfume, probably until my birthday. I'm guessing I'll probably use it up by then. I also got a the scrub of your life, which obviously I got a big sample and mini sample that I've actually used, and it's got some water down the side of it. Let's put that separately. Don't want that to leak anywhere. I got a mirror, which is like a mini stand-up mirror, which is going to be super useful for school because I tend to like use my shine control papers halfway through the day and I tend to do it in form and instead of holding my mirror now I've got a nice little one that I can stand up I got a body shop hemp hand protector in the massive version and I do tend to get eczema but because it hasn't been that cold yet this year I haven't actually got any but if it's cold in January and February this will be a super good one to use and it doesn't have a scent but I know it is very moisturising. I got two number seven products, I got an intense volume water free for mascara which I'm actually wearing now and the wand is really nice, I don't know how well you can see that. And also we got, I got a lipstick and it is, does it say the shade yet? Um, pillar box. Pillar box. 900. And it's a bright red, which be super good for parties or if I wanted to do any makeup looks on this channel with a gold eye or something. I've just made a dent in it. Oh. I'll sort that out after the video. Now I've kind of got red lipstick on my hand. Let's sort that out. You don't want that to go anywhere else, do I? So now I've got shower gel on my nose, I've dropped stuff, I've got indented my lipstick. Not good. At least I didn't do it to my MAC one, though. That is on the right side. I've got some Real Technique brushes. I also got the Real Technique sponge. I tend to get a new one every six months, so for my birthday, for Christmas, because they obviously go really dirty. And I have already used it, which way it looks dirty already. But yeah, this is my favourite um, sponge buy it if you haven't already basically i'm gonna try and go super fast because i have a feeling the memory is gonna run out again soon and um, so i got i've actually asked for these real technique brushes so now i've completed the collection that i wanted to i got the stippling brush and by the way these all have been used so that's why they look a bit dirty i got a powder brush and i got the sculpting brush and i absolutely love all these i've used them all and yeah so that's kind of completed my collection i've still got like the eye makeup brushes to go um that probably be what i'll be asking for for my birthday i got this impulse set which is that it's got two body sprays in it's got the very pink and the rock and love if i can get this off and i actually really like that it comes in a bag because it's kind of like a three in one person you get two body sprays and a cute little bag which to be super good for travel. I got some Treacle Moon shower gels. I've got Vanilla Moment, Raspberry Kiss and Coconut Island and it comes with a loofah. And these would be super good to take on holiday as well. And they all smell absolutely amazing. I got a L'Oreal gift set and it is the Feline, Feline Fatal gift set I think. And in it, it's kind of like a green based one. You get a eyeshadow quad which is in Jungle Jade. And the super pretty colours. I don't know how well they're showing up. But they're shimmer, shimmer ones. Uh, you also get a two, uh, £2 off actually or so in it. No, £2.50 off, so that's even better. Uh, you get an eyeliner, which is the super liner, so couture, and it's a liquid one. And I've actually used it already, and it is super good. I'm terrible with putting eyeliners on, but it's got such a, like, thin brush that it goes on really nice. So the battery's been in there, so I'm going to have to go super fast now. Um... You also get a nail polish in it, if I can get it out of the box. And it is in the shade Feline, Feline Sauvage, Sauvage, I don't know, 423 and it's like a green shimmery one and this is actually a colour nail polish that I've never owned and I've always wanted to own a green one so this is it. 
And you also get a mascara. So I've done super well with mascara this year. And it's the Mega Volume Collagen 24 Hours one in extra black. And it looks like it's going to be quite a clumpy mascara, but it honestly isn't. It makes your lashes so volume -y, vo volume. So yeah, that little gift pot, you get four products, which I think is super a lot. And the last bath and body thing I got was... First of all, it's this bag, and it's a Studio London one, which is a brand from Superdrug, and this is another super nice bag to take, super, how many times did I say that? Um, to take away with makeup and stuff. So in there, my mum put some products, she gave me a Dove Fresh deodorant, and it's in the uh, scent, pomegranate and lemon verbena, Ver I don't really know how to pronounce stuff. I also got a Charlie Touch Body Spray, which is one of my favourites. So I just had to delete some off the memory card, so if I'm in a slightly different place, that is why. And by the looks of it, the kettle has just been foiled. But I still think you can hear me. So also in this bag, I got free Body Shop stuff, and it is in the Frosted Plum Collection, which I actually asked for stuff from, because it smells absolutely amazing. I got the Lip Balm, I got the Shimmer Lotion, and I got the Frosted Plum... No, <laughs> I mean the Shower Gel. Um, and I think this was their newest one to their Christmas scents this year. But yeah, it smells absolutely heavenly. I can't wait to make me smell all nice. And now I'm going to go on to clothing items. So I got two bras and they're from New Look and I'm not really going to talk about them much because there's not much to say. But this is the one of the ones I got and I also got a burgundy one that is in the wash and it's just got this cute little love heart pattern i don't know if it's showing up but yeah super nice so again sorry if i'm in a different place now but now it's because i had to change the battery pack and this one's also low so we're gonna have to get a super move on i don't even know where i was at really um oh yeah fluffy socks um so got some it's red and white you got a star one and stripes on and they look very 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 comfy can't wait to wear them but they're very Christmassy as well which i absolutely love and they're gonna go with all my red pajamas um, and I also got these super comfy pyjamas that I've been worn and they were from Asda and they're just super woolly and they've got polka dots on yeah very very warm and cosy and they're literally the softest pyjamas I've ever worn even softer than my polar bear one from um, Primark and I kind of gone to a bit of random stuff so I got a Christmas spice fragrance candle from Sainsbury's smells so nice but I'm now I'm not gonna I'm gonna save to burn it for next Christmas because it's very Christmas scented but it smells absolutely amazing this is a bit of an unusual present but I still like it <laughs> some pistachios yeah I've kind of ate half the bag probably the weirdest present I got this year but I like them so I suppose yeah and it's giving me the fibre I need so I got two colouring books which I actually asked for um yeah, these are the ones I don't know where they're from, so I can't comment, but can't wait to start colouring in. I'm actually going to buy some new pencils and not let anyone use, use them because I want it to stay so artistic. And again, it will calm me down and it will save me from being on my iPod watching TV all the time. I got two more books. I got the Self Health by Miranda Sings and Fleur de Force Glam Guide. I haven't read this one yet, but I can't wait to. But I've already read... We're going to do about half of this, and this is the funniest book I've actually ever read. Just the first page made me laugh like mad. If you haven't already got it, I would seriously think about buying it, especially if you're a Miranda Sings fan, because I think if you probably weren't a fan, you probably wouldn't get the humour. But it's because, obviously, it's the things she says in videos, and I absolutely love this one so much. I got three CDs, I got The Little Mix, Get Weird. I got Ollie Murs, Never Been Better, Special Edition, and Jess Glynn, I Cry When I Laugh. Now this Ollie Murs one actually comes with, so obviously Never Been Better came out, well not last, 2015 or 2014, I'm not quite sure. And I already have that version, but this also has additional, I think, three, four, five, six, eight additional bonus tracks. And it also has this DVD from when he performed at the O2, so I can't wait to watch that. Talking about DVDs, I also got three more. I got Joe and Casper Hit the Road, which I have yet to watch, but I can't wait to. And I'm not entirely sure if it's been um, signed, because it's got that on the back. Is it going to focus? But I'm not quite sure if that's on all the copies. So I need to do some research about this, because I'd be super happy if I find out it is signed. I got Walking on Sunshine, which is, um, but this critic 
called it Pitch Perfect Meets Mamma Mia. And basically, it's just 80s hits and yeah, it's kind of like Mamma Mia, but 80s hits version. And I also got Dirty Dancing, which I've never watched and I've already watched and I absolutely loved it. And yeah, that's another musical ticked off my list to watch. And in my stocking, I also got a £15 iTunes gift card, which I can't wait to buy an album or maybe a DVD or something like that. And now I'm gonna quickly run through the joint presents that me and my sister both got. We got three DVDs, we got Miranda the Finale, again, this is complete my Miranda collection, I absolutely love this. We got Spy, which is a comedy star Miss McCarthy, and I didn't, didn't manage to watch this in cinema, so again, I can't wait to watch that. And I got Pitch Perfect 2, which I've already watched, I got the album for my birthday, and then all the words to it, and I absolutely love it, so I'm super happy about that. If you actually haven't seen Pitch Perfect, I do recommend watching them both. And we got an Everyday Superfood Jamie Oliver cookbook, which I, probably for half of the year last year, I was super healthy, um, and then I kind of haven't in the last few months. So I can't wait to get back into this, probably in the spring and summer, and it's got really good recipes in it. I've already flipped through the book. And finally, we got two board games, which I'm just going to lift down. We got Nevermind the Goose. Never mind the Buzzcocks and Gogglebox and we played both of these on Christmas Day and yeah I absolutely love them both and it's really weird because they're the two board games I wanted this year. I didn't tell my mum or dad but I actually got them both so yeah that is just really weird but it's really great. I nearly forgot one thing, one of my favourite presents was my calendar and I'm still, I'm going to put it up straight away after this video because it's probably the second when I'm filming this and it's my Zac Efron calendar and it's actually the calendar I ask for, I get a calendar every year and I think this has probably been my best calendar I have because again if you know me, you know I'm a massive Zac Efron fan. Thanks for watching this video, sorry if it was a bit long but yeah I got quite a bit and yeah thanks for watching if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos click the subscribe button below and there'll also be um vlogmas videos that i didn't manage to upload last year every single day now until i've managed to upload them all so look forward to that and i will see you well i'll see you in the next vlogmas video bye